Welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, we just left not long ago at the cabin there, and we're headed uh, toward Gatlinburg there, and we're just going through the Smoky Mountain National Park right now, and we just want to show y'all some footage of how it looks here, going back toward uh, Gatlinburg from my towns in Tennessee, and uh, what we're going to be doing today is, well, we see a sign for elk month, and we've never stopped there, and I think they got some old uh, buildings there, but I'm not really sure. And if we stop there, we'll show you that. If not, uh, we're, we're going to be going over to uh, North Carolina today, and uh, we'll be showing different things over there. And uh, we'll visit uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, and we'll show you uh, what that looks like going through there. So, uh, y'all uh, enjoy the ride with us a little while here. And we'll be back when we stop and just see if we can show you something there. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit. show y'all some of these fall colors up here going to uh, up toward uh, Cherokee North Carolina you can see the fall colors already the trees done changing colors it looks real pretty up through here the higher elevation we go just gonna show y'all a little bit of that to show y'all some of these fall colors up here going to uh, up toward uh, Cherokee North Carolina you can see the fall colors already the trees done changing colors it looks real pretty up through here the higher elevation we go just gonna show y'all a little bit of that The Mountain Farm Museum here, right outside of Cherokee, North Carolina, and uh, it's real nice and cool out here today. Probably upper what, upper 40s, I think. And uh, got several 
buildings and they just walk you right down here to this uh, water here this little stream coming through here or creek real pretty I got your own camera now y'all better smile It's supposed to be like uh, what a farmstead would have been like back, uh, you know, in the 1800s. So let's see here. You gonna walk through here? Let's walk around this way here. This is a, a bee gum stand. So. Right. They have fruit trees all planted out here, and this is a cabin right here. I think they said it's made out of chestnut logs. They're really, really big logs as y'all can see right here. Come out of some really big trees. Look at that y'all. Look at like at least, I don't know, 26 inches wide probably. Oh, there's apple trees here. kitchen how give you an idea of what it will look like this fireplace right there look at the old farm table y'all keep a little wood up on that wood shed there here we got the meat house Man, Austin, look how this good ham I got in here. Mmm, we can look, like a good slice of that ham. <laughs> they did that ham's not real. It's the apple house. I guess this is where they would have sold their apples. where they're doing the cooking their sagram at to make their syrup. They probably still do this certain times of the year, y'all see right there where their wood ash is.
find you want to go ahead and Uh oh. You gonna go ahead and look at these elk out in this field? Hey y'all, we found some, well, I, I didn't see them, but Tosh seen some elk out here in this field. So we're gonna go over here and take a look at them. She said it might be a bull elk out there. I know some cow elk, she said. So we're gonna go out here and take a look and bring y'all along here. If y'all liking this video, just give it a thumbs up. And got any comments or anything, just leave it down in the comment section. We appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna step on over here and see if we can take the, uh, some footage of these up here. Show y'all close up picture the elk right there. It's probably 60 yards away. It's gonna be like a little spring house. Here's a little cane press. Boy, I'm gonna hook you that. Hook you that. How about that? Huh? Thank you for that. Corn crib right here. Down here, y'all, the barn. Got some old implements and wagons up under here, and sleds. I'm gonna turn y'all around here so that y'all can see the uh, mountains right here across here. Give you a kind of look back this way. Move that car forward. We 
have a elk coming through yeah, the parking lot. We almost just got run over by a bull elk coming through the parking lot. And uh, had a car in front of me there. And y'all heard the uh, park ranger there. She was like, move that car forward. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't move until everybody moved in front of me. But I think she was talking to me, y'all. I got out of there. She scared me. I mean, the elk scared me. <laughs> but um, we was going to go to Cherokee, North Carolina, but um, the traffic's backed up. I had elk out there in the road, and we just decided to uh, go back toward uh, Gatlinburg here. And uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing. I know we're not going to Gatlinburg. I tell y'all, it was so busy yesterday, we didn't even film any of that. We'll probably, when we go back through Townsend, We'll probably um, video that little ride through Townsend and probably one or two places there we'll, go, we'll stop and get a little video there to show you. But uh, I thought that was funny. You know, it's, well, there's nothing funny about elk, you know, around people because they, they can be very dangerous like any wild animal. And uh, they had people out there in the parking lot, you know, moving around and the elk, it was getting a little bit nervous there. And they was trying to, you know, get the elk go back into the field there. But, um, I told Tasha, I said, man, I, I, hope that, I hope that elk don't come over and hit our car. And uh, I said, it would just be my luck, probably, but luckily it didn't. But um, anyway, y'all, uh, we're going to drive on down through here, and uh, we'll be back once we get back in Townsend there. All right, y'all, we're uh, coming in to uh, Townsend, Tennessee. Just going to show y'all a little bit what it looks like through here. Campground over to your right over there. I y'all was sitting here in the car waiting on uh, some pizza we ordered. I just want to show y'all kind of what they have. They don't have too many places around here in Townsend to eat. They got a pizza hut here. You can see they got a uh, pizza side creamery, which uh, I'm assuming uh, serves all kind of ice cream and milkshakes and whatever. Then you see a peaceful size social. I don't know what that is. I guess you go in there socialize. <laughs> Then they have a brewery and craft kitchen. Um, we've never been in there, so I'm not really sure what that is. Then right over here is our supermarket that we'll go to if we need something. It's the IGA supermarket. But uh, then on down the road down here, they have, I think, what, at least, at least two restaurants, like independent restaurants. So if y'all want, you know, something to eat, you know, you probably want to, you know, you know, something in particular, you probably need to get it over in Pigeon Forge over in that area, or Gatlinburg, or back down before you get to uh, Townsend is Maryville, and you can get uh, all kind of stuff down at Maryville. But here in Townsend, they, get, they don't call it the quiet side of Smokies for no reason. Uh, they just don't have all the, you know, main attractions and a lot of franchise restaurants but that's you know that's fine you know a lot of times people want to come over here stay over here just because it's a lot quieter don't don't you know have all the hustle and bustle of uh, the you no know, pigeon forge in gatlinburg now obviously you're gonna have cars up and down the main strip through here but um it's nothing nothing no bad cups none of that like you'll see over in uh, pigeon forge and uh, well, another thing, you know, we really noticed this year was a lot of um, cars, a lot of traffic uh, that we haven't been seeing when we come in the summertime and the um, spring months there. It's just a lot more traffic and stuff right now uh, during the fall. And um, 
I told Tasha, I'm not sure, but I'm probably not going to be coming back over here uh, anytime soon in the, uh, you know, in the month of October, just because so many people, it's a whole lot more than it used to be. But um, anyway, y'all, yeah, we'll, when we leave here, we'll show you uh, on the way out back toward the cabin there. And uh, tomorrow, I believe we'll be uh, going to Cades Cove, and we'll be showing y'all that there. But uh, appreciate y'all coming along. And as always, friends, for my family yours, y'all have a blessed day. And we will see you later. Bye bye. All right, y'all, we just left there, getting that pizza. And right over here, you can see a Dollar General store right there, passing right now. And uh, they have the Towns and Visitor Center over here on your left, over here. right here they got a uh, restaurant called trailhead steak and trout house and then we're coming up on uh, they got a little subway down here and they got a uh, towns and pancake house right here Jambo's Barbecue. Gosh, I didn't know they had that there. No, they That's something new. Well, we're going to try that. We're going to try try that out. Jambo's Barbecue. And uh, I think it's going to be about it right, right in this area here. So, um, you know, you got your little fuel stations and stuff.